Jefferson. My friends call me Jeff. I'm from Brazil. My code name is Stereo Plug. I'm a Brazilian Citrus producer. And that's all for now. I came from the punk rock and hardcore scene. I used to be a drummer when I was younger. And I was always a void to listen to the electronic music. I was so straight with the punk rock and hardcore scene. And then, in the middle of 2003, friends of mine, three friends of mine, invited me to a Psytrance party. I didn't even know was, what Psytrance was about. And I, I said, okay, I'll go with you guys. But I was expecting something very different. I was expecting some kind of music that you can listen in the radio, you know, some commercial stuff. And then when I get there, I listen to some nice, nice Psytrance sounds. It has a guitar with nice distortion on it. And I felt like it was a punk rock band with electronic stuff. Then I fell in love with that. And then I started to go to the parties. And on the next week after that, I was already on the internet searching for parties to listen to more and more Psytrance music. And I became a freak on the dance floor. I was one, just one more freak on the dance floor. And one day I was in a party and I look at the stage and I said, I want to go back to make music. I want to go back to work with music. I had, at that time I had stopped playing drummer. Yeah, I was searching for something. Uh, I, I thought I had to buy lots of expensive hardware for that. And I realized I just needed a computer for that. So that's, that's what makes me start to produce. And uh, it was in the middle of 2005. And that was when Stereo Clubs has been created. Yes, my first time in South Africa. Also, my first time out of Brazil to play. I was lucky. I was lucky because the guy, Calvin, the guy who makes the party, the Jungala Festival, used to play my tracks. I didn't even know people here in South Africa were listening to my tracks. And I called this lucky because there are a lot of good producers around the world and he chose me to bring me to Jungala. That was awesome, that's all I can say. I was afraid at first, because I know here in South Africa people likes a lot of night sounds. A hard full on for the night time. But that was good. Uh, I played at Saturday morning at the Jungala. It was pretty good. The people was very well, very well responded. They came at me to say congratulations all the kind of stuff that that's the best feedback you can you can have from the crowd i thought that was good i know no one is gonna come at me and say your set was trash but look at the positive way that was cool people here are very friendly they i i hope they really enjoyed my sounds i've been working with electronic dope records I've been signing with, the, with them since 2006. Um, they give me a lot of support, and I'm still working with that. With them, um, I'm gonna release another new track with them this year. They, they're about to release a new VA. And now I'm, I just joined at the Synoptics crew here from South Africa, and we are already working on some tracks. I think we're gonna rock a lot. I have some tracks released by another labels. I have no album yet. I, I think that's not time for that yet. I have a lot to do first before I think about an album. But I just released my first EP. It was in the beginning of the, this year. It's called uh, Stays of Side Trains. Uh, it's kind of three tracks, three flavors, flavors tracks about side trains with a stereo plug touch on it. And I try to make it the most spiritual as possible. That's the kind of music I've been trying to make nowadays. That's good, that's good. I, 
intend to make people get on the journey. Side trains, there's a trains on this board. And I pretend to put people in the trains. Feeling trains. That's what I want to do. That's why I call this I call this a spiritual sound. But that's really like train spirit train sounds with psychedelic touches, of course. Many of the techniques I know I learned by myself. I was the first guy to start to produce electronic music in my town in Brazil, so I had no one to talk about it. And I tried to talk to some producers on the internet at the beginning, and it was hard because I didn't know anything, so no one wanted to talk to me about it. It was boring, I was boring then, I guess. So I had to study hard by myself, and then when I started to learn something, something, I had something to say to them, to give back, and then I started to make friends. And nowadays I had some friends in my town that are already producing side trains also. We are making some versions. And yes, I, I can say I've, I've been working closer to another producer. I have no harder at all except my external audio card and my computer. Uh, there are a lot of people who always ask me that. Uh, that's because I guess I abuse, abuse of distortions on my sounds, and sometimes it sounds like a analog sound, but it's not, it's pure digital. Um, I've been using Cubase for, since I started, since 2005, I'm on Cubase. I don't think I need to work with another sequencer, not yet. And I've been using a lot of native streaming plugins that are awesome, very good quality sounds. Um, for bass, I've been using Trilogy and Trillion from Spectrosonics. I guess that's all I need. I can do pretty well with my tracks with those plugins. South Africans, thanks a lot. I really enjoy it, I'm still enjoying, I'm going back to Brazil tomorrow, but I really hope to come back here. The vibe here is different, I got quickly in the vibe, and I hope to feel with it again next year. I have a few tracks that are going to be released on compilations compiled by Synoptics Productions and released on Psylogy Records, which is a record label partnership between Synoptics and Techno Tribe. The release dates will be announced soon. Keep posting on my Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com slash stereoplug or on the Synoptics page, which is facebook.com slash Synoptics. Stay tuned.